Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh, which is the one and true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Why Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much I got a comment on my comment board from the lesson that I did. It was titled as Joseph was the biological father of the Messiah. And this individual, his name is uh, True Kingdom 841. He says, wrong, y'all dudes need to sit down and be quiet. Read Luke 1. Now, obviously, you have a lot of these novices that, you know, when they come into this thing and they learn a little bits here and there, they start acting like they got all this deep truth, you know. They got all this this, this so-called deep truth, right? And um, number one, I'm not going to sit down. And be quiet. You came on my platform. So if you got a problem. With my lessons. Then don't watch them. It's not meant for you to get it. Alright. It's not meant for you to get it. It's not meant for you to get it. And another thing. You come on my channel. And this is what I'm starting to see. What the elders are talking about. You come on my channel. Trying to instruct and correct me. And tell me what to do. Well, you ain't got no works. He got five videos. You ain't got no street ministry. Where is your Where is your street ministry, my man? Where is your street ministry? And in your bio, you say the M-A-R-K is the vaccine. You're totally off. You're going off because the, the M-A-R-K is not a vaccine, you idiot. And then it says cry and repent to the Lord if you took if you took if you took it. It's took it. Not toke it. Learn to spell. And it says, I'm doing my part to spread the truth. How? You ain't got no street ministry. You ain't got no street ministry. You have not been on the highways and byways. You started this channel in, in November 18, 2022. You just came into the truth. You're 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 a novice. So the person that needs to that needs to sit down and be quiet is you. Because you have no understanding of the gospel. And you're going off in so many different ways. You're teaching that the M-A-R-K is the vaccine. You're fucking off. And then you don't even know how to spell. And then you're saying you're trying to spread the truth. Well, you only got you only did five fucking videos in your fucking life. When I did over... Look at my page. I did over seven, eight, eight hundred videos. I've been in this thing seven years. I've been on the streets. I've been I've been street teaching since 2016. Where's your, where's your, where's your street ministry at? And this is what I say to you guys. I've been teaching the truth. I've been, I've been in the truth since 2015. And I've been doing street ministry since 2016. Where's your street ministry at? Why are you not on the highways and byways? Why are you not teaching? Because that's what you, if you, if you are a man, I don't know if you're a man. I don't know if you're a man. Now, if you're a woman, you don't need to be even fucking talking to me. All right. The scriptures say, let all things be done and decently in order. The scriptures say, let all women keep silent in the churches. Don't be fucking talking to me. It says, these are not my videos. See, so th these are not your videos. And I just looked at that. If these are not your videos, then clearly you must be a woman. You might be a woman. I don't know if you're a woman or a dude. But he says, in, this says in the bio, these are not my videos. So where is your street ministry? Where is your works? Where is your works? If you're if you're an Israelite man, where is your fucking works? Where is your works, man? Now, if you're a woman, I'm, I'm thinking through the spirit. You're probably a woman. I don't know if you were. I don't know if you are a woman. But if you are a woman, you don't need to be fucking talking to me. And you don't need to be on my comment board. Point blank period. Now, if you're a dude, where is your street ministry? You have no fucking works. And I'm, I'm, this is why the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, they always say that these novices and these fucking damn women, Israelite women, they always try to come on a, a man's comment board or comment and trying to instruct 
try to instruct the, the, the teacher. Why are you trying to instruct me? How are you going to come on my platform and try to instruct me on what I need to do? This is why, again, the Lord is going to fuck you, 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 you Israelites up. Because you guys are, you guys are just fucking just thinking you can just say and do what you want. You have your own free will mindset. Fuck all that. First Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man, I don't know if you're a woman or you're a man. If you are a woman, you need to shut the fuck up. If you're a man, you need to shut the fuck up. This is what the scriptures say. Because this applies to you Israelite women as well. This scripture too. First Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Lord. You can't understand that the Messiah, his biological father was Joseph. He had to be born. How, how is a person able to be born in this in this in, in this world? Through sex. That's 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 facts. Through any through any through any 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 through any way, a only way a woman can get pregnant is from a seed of a man. A man has to put his semen in her womb. That's factual. We ain't even gotta read the scriptures. There's no other way the Messiah can be born. You guys are used to that virgin birth. That virgin birth is unbiblical. That's Roman Catholic doctrine. You can look it up. If you don't believe what I'm saying, go look it up. The vote, the, the, there is no virgin birth. There is no trinity. All that shit goes back to ancient Egypt. That shit is wicked as fuck. There is no virgin birth. There is no virgin birth. There's no woman right now that's getting pregnant by themselves without a man sticking his rod in them and pregnating them. Is that true? Yes or no? Is that true? Yes or no? First Corinthians 2 and 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Lord. You can't get it. The Lord is not dealing with you. You can't get that. It's not meant for you to get it. For they are, it says, for it says, for they are foolishness unto them. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. You don't have the understanding of the truth because the Lord ain't dealing with it. Then you say these are not your, these are not my videos. What the fuck are you doing? If you're an Israelite man, you need to sit down. You need to, you, you need to be quiet. You need to be studying. You need to learn enough of this truth and take your ass on the highways and byways and start doing the works. I thought these were your videos and these ain't your fucking videos because you just said in your bio, these are not my videos. So you can't spread the truth if you're not, if you're an Israelite man, you cannot spread the truth if you're not doing your own works. You have to do your own fucking works to receive salvation. I hope you know that. You have to do your own fucking works to receive salvation. Now I'm going to read this to you. I'm not going to read all of it again because obviously you probably just seen my title and then you just said wrong. Now, this is in the Bible, if, if, if you believe in the Bible. So we're going to go into Wisdom of Solomon. We're going to go into Wisdom of Solomon. We're going to go into Wisdom of Solomon 7. All right, I'm going to read Wisdom of Solomon 7 to you. I'm going to break it down to you. All right. And then after, after I do that, we're going to go into showing you, if you're an Israelite man, that you better start doing the works. Don't be uploading other people's videos. You need to be doing the works. Because if you're not doing the works and you're an Israelite man, if you are a man and you're not doing the works and you're just copying from other people's videos, you ain't got no works to show. You could be destroyed for that. So I hope you know that. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 1. My, it says, I myself am also a mortal man like unto all and the offspring of him and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. Who is this talking about? Adam. Right? The offspring of him that was first made of the earth. Adam. It's talking about Adam. Verse 2. And in my mother's womb. See, this is this is when he goes into how he was born. This is how all of us was born. Even the Messiah. The Messiah didn't have a different fucking way of birth. He was born the same way we were born. Through the seed of our father. Through the seed of our, fa our father. What, wasn't you fucking born like that? Don't you got a fucking dad? He fucking penetrated your mother, right? And impregnated her, right? That's how you was fucking born. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 2. It says, in, in, And in my mother's womb was fashioned to me flesh in the time of 10 months. Because Esau is saying that the woman was has a baby for 9 months. That's totally incorrect. According to the scriptures, a woman is pregnant for 10 months. It says, Being compact in blood of the seed of a man right sex seed of a man right let's get let, let's let's get the meaning for that word seed out too 
Because the only way you can be born is 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 from a, a seed of a seed of a man. Now when you go into the meaning of that word seed, which I'm gonna get out right now, right? Seed. Now look at this. There's two meanings, but the second one is the one that's the one that I'm looking for. Seed. It says a a flowing right a flowing plant's unit of reproduction reproduction capable of developing into another such plant. Verb. It says number. It says number two. A man's semen. You see that? A man's semen. So when you go here, that's what it's talking about. A man see men. So King Solomon, one of the wisest prophets of all time, right? He even said it as of the seed of a man. So a man semen went into his mother's womb and he was born. That's how he was born. Right? King David was his father. It says, and the pleasure and the pleasure that came with sleep. And that's talking about sex. His mother got pregnant. By his father, right? His father slept with his mother. She got pregnant and she had Solomon. Simple. Now, let's keep reading. Verse 3. And when I was born, now he's going into how he was born. I drew in the common air and fell upon the earth, which is of like nature, right? And the first voice which I uttered was crying as all others do. Like all babies do. Babies cry when they first come out of the mother's womb. Verse 4. I was nursed in swaddling clothes and that with cares. Verse 5. Now this is this is the thing that you didn't understand. And I hope you understand this video. So true kingdom. Now we should read, read this. This is a cut to everything you're fucking talking about. Luke. I mean uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 5. 4. There is no king that had any other beginning of birth. Let's read that again. For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. One more time. For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. So there's no other, no, no man had a different way of being born. There's only one way born into this life and there's only one way of going out. One way into entrance into life and one way going out, which I'm going to read in the next verse. Verse six, for all men, all men have one entrance into life, right? When we read that in verse two, Solomon even said it. A, a woman gets pregnant by a man. A man's have sex with that woman. His semen goes in her womb, impregnates her. She has a, a holds a baby within her womb for 10 months. And then boom, a baby, the baby is born. That's common sense. Verse five, for there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. Yahweh Shai didn't have a different birth from everybody else. He was born the same way I was born, the same way you was born, the same as everybody else was born. That's how the Messiah was born. Joseph was his biological father. And if you can't get that and you don't agree with that, that's fine. But I'm telling you, that's the truth, whether you believe it or not. For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. There's no other beginning of birth. There's no other way. Verse 6. For all men have one entrance into life. The only way is to be born. It's through your mom, right? She has sex with your father. Your father put, uh, you know, has sex with your mom, impregnated her, and then you was fucking born. There's no other way into life. It says for all men have no, have, it says for all men have one entrance into life. And the light going out. And the light going out. Meaning death. You're born. You enter this life. You grow. And then you die at one point. It says, Wherefore I prayed and understanding was giving me. I called upon Yahweh, And the spirit of wisdom came to me. So King Solomon said it. Now you want more, more proof on that. I think it's Romans 1. I'm going to get that out too. Because Romans 1. Um. Talks about that as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Now look at this. Since you don't agree with what I'm saying, you read Romans 1 and 2. Concerning his son, right? Concerning his son, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord, which was made 
of the seed. Seed. Remember, back to the meaning of seed. A man's semen. Seed. Seed. Let me turn this up. Seed. One more time. Seed. Seed. Right? A man's semen. Because you don't understand. Romans 1 and 3. Concerning his son, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to what? The flesh. So he was born through what? The seed of what? A man. Joseph was the biological father of the Messiah. It's in the scriptures right here. Romans 1 and 3. See? You just flapping your goddamn gums and you're not learning nothing. You need to sit down. You need to be quiet. You need to read Romans 1 and 3. You need to read Wisdom of Solomon 7. You need to read Luke 3 and 22 to 20, uh, 21 through 22. There's more scriptures to read on that. You need to study and read. You should be taking notes on my video. Not scoffing back being a demon. You got no fucking works to show. These are not your videos that you uploaded. If you're a man, you're going off. The mark is not no fucking vaccine. You're going off. So you're the one that needs to learn. You're the one that's not doing no works, no lessons. You're the one that's not going out to the highways and byways, presenting your body as a sacrifice as the scriptures tell your ass to. You're the one that's not following the ways of the Lord. And if you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed. Let's see what the Lord told the apostles. And it's the same thing with us. You are to go out to the highways and byways. Let's get that out. If you are a man, you're supposed to go out to our ways and byways. If you're a woman, you're not supposed to do shit, but shut up and learn. That's what you're supposed to do. So I don't know if you're a man or a woman, but if you're a man, this is what the Lord says to do. Philippians 2 and 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as my absence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. How do you work out your salvation with fear and trembling? Doing the works. Let's get that. Doing the works. You have to do the works. Let me get that. Uh, 1 Peter uh, 1 and 10. This is how you're going to work out. the Second Peter. Salakia. Second Peter. 1 and 10. This is how you, this is what you're supposed to do. And let me get it bigger for you so you can see. 2 Peter 1 and 10. If you are an Israelite man, true kingdom, uh, true kingdom 80, 80 41. If you're, if you're a, a, a man of the Lord and you're claiming you're trying to spread the truth, you have to do the works. You're supposed to learn from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, take notes, learn. And you're supposed to go out and do your works. Otherwise than that, you're going to be destroyed if you're just sitting around not doing shit. If you are an Israelite man. Now, if you are a woman, you need to be quiet. The scriptures, you need to, you need to do your homework. 1 Corinthians 14, 34 through 35, right? Also Ephesians 5, and I believe it's Ephesians 5, uh, Ephesians 5 and 22. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's Ephesians 5 and 22, and I'm, I'm going to get that in a minute, Lord willing. Because you are to be subjected to your husband. You're not supposed to even be commenting on my fucking page if you are a woman. Because you're going off. Scripture say in 1 Corinthians 14, 40, let all things be done decently in order. You, you women are not supposed to be fucking talking to men in general. You're not supposed to be fucking talking to us. 2 Peter 1 and 10, wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling an election sure. How are you going to make your calling an election sure? How are you going to make your calling an election sure? Let's find out. Diligence. Careful and persistent work or effort so you got to do the work in this truth you got to do the works how i do the works do three videos every day do your own videos if you are an israelite man i don't know if you're an israelite man or a woman if you're an israelite woman you're not supposed to teach the truth you're supposed to learn in silence as the scriptures say to do so and shut your fucking mouth and learn don't do no videos don't do none of that because women are not supposed to teach the bible Israelite men are supposed to do the works. So if you're a man, you're supposed to go and fucking shut. You're supposed to sit down, shut up and learn, take notes and grow and work out your salvation. Because the time is coming where all these, this truth that, that you're getting, that you're rebelling against, you're not going to be able to fucking get it in Jacob trouble. Because we're not that far from Jacob trouble. Second Peter 1 and 10. See, a lot of you jakes, y'all treat this truth as entertainment. Like the elders say, 
And if you guys don't learn to fucking repent and learn to and fall in line and be in order and work out your salvation instead of going around here trying to trying to be seen, you're going to be fucking destroyed. That's what's going to happen to you, Jakes. Second Peter 1 and 10, you better repent. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. And how are you going to make your calling and election sure? Do diligence. You got to do three videos a day and you got to go and set up camp once a week. You got to do the works. That's the only way you're going to be saved. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. So you got to make your calling and election sure. We're trying to work out our, our salvation. You're not working out your salvation uploading other people's videos. Uploading all these different videos. You need to do your works. If you're an Israelite man, you're supposed to be doing works. You're supposed to learn the correct doctrine. I highly recommend you to follow Great Millstone of Israelites. Because you need to go out and teach. If you're an Israelite man. I don't know if you're an Israelite man or not. You come on my platform telling me what I need to do. Obviously, you need a lot of learning. Because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I proved it to you. I proved that to you. Let's get out some more scriptures, man. See the problem with you, Jakes? You Jakes don't 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 listen. You just stiff neck. You 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 you're rebellious. And that's why I said the, the Lord is not dealing with all you Jakes, man. Not every single Hebrew is like gonna be saved. Just because you know you're an Israelite, that doesn't mean you're gonna be saved. Doesn't mean you're gonna be saved because you gotta have a, you gotta have the truth. You know, you Jakes, you guys don't have the truth. You guys come into this thing, no camp doctrines and shit, trying to come on my platform telling me what I need to do when your ass ain't got no fucking works. I thought those were your works, but you even put on your bio that those are not your videos. So what the fuck are you doing? You're a fucking bug out. That's what you are. You're a fucking bug out. You're a demon. And the Lord going to fuck y'all up. The Lord going to start fucking y'all up. Let's see what the Lord said unto the apostles. And this also goes on to us. That's in the truth. If you're an Israelite man. Luke 14 and 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out unto the highways and edges. You're supposed to go out into the highways and byways. Not sit in your fucking house, upload other, other, other people's videos on your, on your channel, and just sit around and not do shit. Hell with that. You're supposed to be working out your salvation if you're an Israelite man. You're supposed to be fucking working out your salvation if you're an Israelite man. Now, if you're an Israelite woman, you need to be quiet. You just went, you just committed a whole big iniquity commenting on my page. Do you even have a husband? And if you have a husband, you shouldn't be talking to me. You should not be fucking talking to me. Luke 14 and 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out unto the highways and edges. Go out to the highways and byways and compel them to come in. So you, if you're an Israelite man, you're supposed to be learning this truth. From Great Millstone, Hebrew Israelites, I highly recommend you, if you're fucking listening, go out, learn from the elders of Paul's Great Millstone. Once you get six to seven months in this thing, and I don't even know if you even have six or seven months to be able to get this truth now, because we're headed into some 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 crazy ass times right now. Some hard ass times. A lot of you, Jakes, you might not even have six months to, to get the truth now, because you guys been fucking bullshit it off all this time, still wanting to be a fucking simple nigga. So I don't even know if you even have six months now. If you just now come into this thing, I really highly advise you really to follow Great Mel Song. If you can even at least get, you know, three, four, five breakdowns in of understanding the truth and working it out that way, then so be it. Because I don't know. We're headed into some crazy ass times right now. Luke 14 and 23. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and byways. Go out to the highways and edges. So you're supposed to go out to the highways and byways. You're supposed to do your street ministry. Go out and teach. And compel them to come in. That my house may be fulfilled. So that's what the Lord wants you to do. If you're an Israelite man. You're supposed to be going out teaching. Working out your salvation with fear and trembling. You ain't got no fucking works to show. You're doing all this goddamn talking. Trying to tell me what I need to read. And what I need to do. You ain't got no fucking lessons up. Your bio is completely going off. The vaccine is not the M-A-R-K. You're fucking off. You're super fucking off. Elders did a lesson on that years ago. But see, you Jakes ain't gonna fucking get it. You're too busy flapping your fucking gums like you're just like you're just this big fucking prophet of the Lord, but you ain't did shit for the Lord. You niggas ain't did shit for the Lord. Y'all don't do shit but comment on other people's platforms and try to instruct them when you ain't doing no fucking street teaching. You don't do no street ministry. 
You need to be quiet, sit down and be quiet. You ain't got you ain't got no fucking ministry, no street ministry on your fucking channel. Crazy. This is sucking crazy, man. You ain't got no street ministry on your fucking channel and you're flapping your damn gums on mine. Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice. If you're an Israelite man, true kingdom, because you got you call yourself true kingdom, you're supposed to present your body as a living sacrifice. You're supposed to be going out to the highways and edges as the scriptures commands us to do so. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You're not doing that. You're on my channel flapping your fucking gums, trying to instruct me on my channel, telling me what I need to do. Well, you ain't got no fucking works on your channel. You copied other people's videos. There's nothing wrong with that. But you want to do your, you would want to do your own fucking works. You want to do your own lessons. You want to be teaching a correct doctrine. You, you got false doctrine on your channel. Your channel is completely false doctrine, man. Because the MARK is not no vaccine, you idiot. It's not. Romans 12 and 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh Bashimashai, that ye present your bodies, see, as a living sacrifice. When we go out on the highways and byways, we're making a, a spiritual sacrifice for the Lord. We're putting our body up as a living sacrifice. When we have camp, that's our altar. We're doing our sacrifices once a week, man. It says, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service. So that's what you're supposed to do if you are if you are a, a, a man. Now, if you are a woman, you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to even comment on my fucking on my fucking channel unless you have a question. And if you have a husband, you definitely not supposed to be fucking talking to me. You're not supposed to be fucking talking to me, man. Let me get that Romans. Uh, let me get that NLV Romans one and three out. Let's see what it says in the NLT. This is why I said, you, you, you Jake's out here, man. The Lord gonna fuck y'all up, man. <laughs> Look at this. It says, the good news is about his son, David. In his earthly life, he was born into King David's family line. This is talking about Yahweh Shai. <laughs> so Yahweh Shai came through the seed, right? The seed line, right? Of David. Now I would go into reincarnation, but that's a whole different thing, a whole different, you know, a whole nother topic to go into, a whole different topic to go into. And I'm not trying to go into all that because you're not going to have to understand on that. So I'm going to stay giving you the basic, you know, simple. So when we read here, so we're going to go back to here, Romans 1 and 3, because I, I didn't, I forgot to read this in my video concerning his son, Yahweh Shia Mashiach, our Lord, which it says, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh. We went to the, we went to uh, this, we went into the seed, right? We went to seed. Seed is what? Man semen. So he was, Yahushua was born in the flesh through the seed of a man, which was Joseph. Joseph was his biological father. The good news is about his son, Yahushua. It says, in his earthly life, earthly life. Yahweh Shai, the Messiah, who you call Jesus Christ, in his earthly life, he was born into David's, he was born into King David's family line. Yahweh Shai was. Because who was, who was Yahweh Shai's biological father? It was Joseph. Let's prove that. I can also prove it going into Matthew's 1. I'm not going to make this long, but this is simple. Let's go down. Because when you go down to, uh, I want to get to the main point. Let's get that. Here it is right here. This is a precept I wanted to get. <laughs> this is Matthew 1 and 21. And actually, when you go up here too, I'm going to read this. It says, the book of the generation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You guys, I don't know if you call him Jesus or whatever you call him, but we call him Yahweh Shai because that's his true name according to the Bible. That's his true name. It says the book of the generation of Yahweh Shai. The book of the generation. Generation. That word gene means DNA. All right. Now, if it said regeneration, that word re means again. And that word gene means DNA. The book of the gene, generation. Gene means DNA. Right. 
The DNA, semen is DNA, isn't it? It's DNA. It says the book of the generation of Yahweh Hamashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Because that, that goes into reincarnation. I'm not going to go into that because that's going to be a whole nother stumbling block for you to understand. Because you, you, you bet don't even understand the basic scriptures. So that's showing you that the Messiah... Right, was born through the seed line of a man, born through seed of a man. Right? Let's prove this. Because this goes into the genealogy. This goes into Father Abraham, who he begot. Exactly. This Matthew 1 and 1 goes into that. It lets you know who, who the Messiah descend from. Matthew 1 and 17. So all the generations, right? From from Abraham to David. Are 14 generations. And Yahweh Shai comes out of that 14 generation. It says. And from David. Until the carrying away into Babylon. Are 14 generations. And from the carrying away into Babylon. Onto Yahweh Shai. Are 14 generations. So the Messiah. Comes from the sea line of Joseph. Alright. Look at that. Let's prove it. And Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary. Let's read that again. And Joseph begot Joseph, the husband of Mary. Her Mary's husband was Joseph. She slept with Joseph. Of whom was born Yahweh Shai, who is called Hamashiach. So there you go. Boom, right there. Those are cuts. Because this goes into the gene generation. That word gene means DNA. All right. So this lets you know right here that the Messiah's biological father was Joseph as well. And she shall bring forth a son, talking about Miriam, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people for his sins. The Messiah came back. He had to die. For, he had to die on the cross for the Israelites so we could be able to get grafted back to the father. But that's, you know, going into the reincarnation. I don't want to go into that because that'll be too deep for you. So there are scriptures that talks about the Messiah all day. He was born in the flesh, man. He was born in the flesh. So I, I don't I'm not going to, you know, uh, spend all day constantly going into scriptures. But regardless if you believe it or not, the Messiah's biological father was Joseph. So let's read this again. Romans 1 and 3 concerning his son, Yahweh Mashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh. And his father was uh, Joseph. The Messiah's father was Joseph, man. So, hey, man, I don't know if you're a woman or a man, but obviously you have a lot of learning to do. You're a novice. And at the end of the day, you better repent and you, be, you just need to shut the fuck up at the end of the day. So Lord willing, that's edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.